Hello everyone, welcome back to my ant tribe diary. Six days ago, I purchased six different ant colonies. With almost zero experience in ant keeping, how have they fared after these six days? Will they be wiped out by my inexperience, or will they grow and thrive? You won't believe the results. Let me show you the outcomes of my six day journey with these ants. I think the results will surprise you. Six days ago, I decided to try keeping six different types of ant colonies. My experience in ant keeping was practically non-existent, but I was curious about how these little creatures operate and live. Today, I'm going to show you the results of these six days how each colony has developed and some outcomes you might never have expected. First, let's look at my most frustrating colony, the Turkestan ants. Initially, there were five worker ants and one queen in the test tube, but after an improper feeding that caused a water disaster, now there is only the queen left, alone and isolated. There are some ant eggs around, but it seems the queen has no intention of hatching them. She looks like a hen that's lost her vitality no signs of reproduction. It's a regretful situation, as the colony started with so much promise but now is barely hanging on. Another test tube of Turkestan ants left me speechless. Despite switching to a new test tube, the workers didn't feed properly, and all of them died. What's more frustrating is that the queen doesn't seem to be producing eggs at all. The test tube is still empty, and it feels like looking at a hen that just won't lay eggs. It's disheartening and puzzling, but not all colonies are facing such struggles. The giant head ant colony is doing quite well. Despite their small size, they have an amazing reproductive capacity. The colony consists of both worker ants and soldier ants, and they're very easy to tell apart. They're not picky eaters either whether it's seeds or small animal carcasses, they'll eat anything. After six days of observation, they've not only survived but are steadily reproducing. I'm confident that this colony will grow stronger. Next we have the two-tone shield leaf cutter ants. This colony has shown no death so far and is reproducing very well. Their temperament is very gentle, though they're a bit slow in their movements. Even if you tap their nest, they hardly react. This makes them very beginner-friendly. Besides their fast reproduction rate, they're also quite fascinating to watch. Watching them work inside their nest is like seeing nature at its best. Now, let's talk about the black gold Turkish archback ants. This colony has high visual appeal with their golden appearance, making them look like little jewels. However, despite their stunning looks, these ants are relatively shy. They usually come out at night when things are quiet to forage for food. Interestingly, when they eat colored food, their abdomens change color, which adds to their charm. This colony has high aesthetic value, and I'm excited to see how they develop. Finally, we have the golden Turkish archback ants. These ants are from the same family as the black gold Turkish archback ants, but their golden appearance is much more striking. This colony is already quite mature, with both large and medium-sized worker ants. Their activity level is very high, and the reproduction rate is also impressive. They're not only a joy to observe but are also quite resilient. Their golden color really makes them stand out in the ant world. These six ant colonies have shown completely different growth trajectories. Some are on the verge of extinction, while others are beginning to thrive and reproduce. Observing them has made me realize realize that every ant colony is unique, just like every person is unique. Each colony has its own habits, reproduction rate, and diet preferences, much like how we humans have different personalities. The variety in ant colonies is astounding, and it reminds me that there's so much more to learn and appreciate in the world of ants. That wraps up today's ant tribe update. If you, like me, are fascinated by the world of ants, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about your thoughts or experiences with ants. Do you have any advice on ant care or feeding? I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more exciting updates from the world of ants in future videos.